Time for you to go be small. King of the jungle, cause you're in an MO. Time for you to go overload. Eat your competition alive, cause you're in an MO. What's my competition? Only me. Go head to head with my enemies and smash them to smithereens. Calisthenics burning calories. Bring that fire ready to blow up. Now we're the kerosene. You're a fighter, you're a fighter. Never gonna give up, never gonna back down. Welcome into Beyond the Blitz. Week two of high school football is in the books. It might be week two of high school games, but it's the first week where we get that high school football Friday, hog football Saturday, and then NFL Sunday, that sweet, perfect football trifecta. Before we get to all that though, we gotta do Friday. Yeah, that's why we're wearing these jerseys and the players last night, they were doing some work in their own jerseys themselves. We're gonna start with our game of the week. Bauxite versus Central Arkansas Christian, both teams featuring Razorback commits, NCAC quarterback Grayson Wilson and Bauxite safety and quarterback Marcus Wimberly. You will see him all over the field, of course. So the Mustangs hoping to remain undefeated. We're gonna start with the first quarter with quarterback Grayson Wilson and he lets it fly. He sends it to Hudson Ritchie and he gets into that end zone making it eight nothing Mustangs. This time we've got Eli Perry getting it to Marcus Wimberly, the Razorback commit, and he is just too fast for everybody. Look at him go. And that's a touchdown for the Miners, and it's eight to seven. CAC still leads. We got some little band action. Love that. Mustangs Wilson finds Tyler Blakely across the middle for that big gain. And then they waste no time. Wilson to Richie again. He's dragged, but they can't keep him out. And it's a touchdown for the Mustangs. It's 16 to seven CAC. Wimberly calls his own number though. He turns on the Jets. Look at him go. And that's, they try to bring, they bring him down here. And the Miners, this time it's Fox who hauls this one in. Got those wheels as well. And that's a touchdown, 16 to 13 CAC. And towards the end of the game in the fourth quarter, Eli Perry to Wimberly, and then he's got an arm. Remember, he can play quarterback too. And he gets that to Tony Fox. And that makes it 45 to 42. Miners lead, but then with about three minutes left, Wilson with the nice pass to Tyler Blakely for the lead. And CAC gets that touchdown, and the Mustangs hang on for that win. It's 50 to 45. CAC wins. All right, everyone in the state of Arkansas knows the Bryant story by now. They've won 54 straight games against in-state teams. Little Rock Parkview making the trip to Bryant, looking to make that, you know, streak end. Parkview and Bryant last year played a real tight one. It was 20 to 10 Hornets in the final. Now Parkview looking for some revenge. Montario Elston takes it. Shakes off a couple guys, drag down inside the 10 yard line. If there's one thing the Patriots do, it's just throw dudes at you. Another running back in, this time it's Cameron Settles. He high steps over one tackler. He's in Parkview, takes an early lead over Bryant. Could the streak be on the line? Well, the Hornets have trailed before. They just haven't lost again since 2018 to an Arkansas school. And well, it's the reasons like this. They just throw guy after guy on you. Jalen Brown takes it into the end zone. To tied things up in the early going but then one minute left before halftime Bryant kicking off after the touchdown and kickoffs were a dangerous theme this week Jermaine Penny takes it for the Patriots finds the middle of the field then finds no one in front of him he's gone just before halftime that put Parkview up 28 to 20 at the break the Patriots wouldn't score in the second half Bryant scored once to make it 28 27 but then the Hornets trailing by one. 90 seconds to go, fourth and five. They got to make it to about the 25 yard line here. It's Jordan Walker rolling, going one man to beat. He doesn't beat him though. The Patriots get the stop on fourth down, turnover on downs, and here you go. The first time since October of 2018 that an Arkansas school has beaten the mighty Bryant Hornets, and it's Little Rock Parkview holding on for the 28 to 27 win. The 5A clearly runs through John Barrow Road. All right, starting with Russellville taking on 
Pulaski Academy at PA. And this one got crazy. We've got quarterback Brandon Cobb. He's got a cast on his arm from PA, but he sends it out to William Savota. And it's a track meet, but I think Savota's got that lead there and for the touchdown, and it's 12-0 Bruins. This time, we've got Cobb again from PA. Launching it, but Russell Bills, Kircher Herring says no way, and he brings it right there to the edge, close to that end zone. And then the Russellville Cyclones are able to capitalize off of it. That's Tracy Daniels. He keeps it himself and makes it 12 to seven Bruins. Then we've got the kickoff. KJ Colin from Pulaski Academy. They try to bring him down multiple times. He slips a little bit. They push him around. They push him around, but his teammates got his back and block everyone out. And then he's just too fast anyways. So that is a kickoff return for a touchdown and it's 18 to 10 Bruins. Russellville quarterback Luke Jones though in the second quarter gets it to Tracy Daniels and that makes it 18 to 17. It's a one point game at the end of the first half. However, Pulaski Academy does what they do, dominate. They go on to win this one 48 to 20. All right, 5A action now. BB Badgers making the trip to take on Little Rock Mills. First drive of the game for the Comet. Zion Smith looks like he's going to get stopped short, but then the entire offensive line helps him out, pushing him, shoving him into the end zone for the score. 7-0 Mills keeping it in the first quarter. And a man who's somehow flying under the radar. I don't know how. Achilles Ringo, one of the best quarterbacks in the state. Here he finds Caleb Sane. He finds Pater. 14-0 Comets. BB, though, not going away quietly, unlike those clarinets. It's the Badgers quarterback, Mason Harbin, rolls out, hits Brenton Bashfield. Ball gets knocked loose, though. Ryan White picks it up, and for White, nothing but green in front of him. He's gone. 90-yard fumble recovery return for a touchdown. Love a good defensive score. It's 21-0 Mills. But then after the score, you got to kick it off, and that's the theme last night. Kickoffs were dangerous. BB's Braden Sanders picks it up, heads to his right, cuts back across the field. He's got one man to beat to the sideline. He does. He gets the corner, and then he's gone. Our third kickoff return touchdown of the Blitz. That made it 21-8, and well, those eight points were the only ones the BB Badgers would get all night. The Mills defense not allowing anything other than that special team score. Mills offense, well, they weren't quite done. Under five minutes to go in the first half. Ringo, plenty of time. Gets plenty of air underneath it to Canarin Ferguson. Mills just piling it on at this point. 41 to 8, the final. Comets take it. All right, moving over to Lakeside. They take on Malvern, the state champions, but Lakeside has a great start. They're 2 and 0. And last, and then Jacob Ermosillo, he goes in for this 33 yard stroll, it seems, and he goes right there. Big play, Lakeside ties the score after trailing all game. But part of the reason they fell behind is because of this guy, Jalen Dupree. He gets the touchdown and retakes the lead for the Malvern Leopards. The Lakeside game will not go quietly. Less than a minute, Irmo Seo scrambles on a broken play, finds an open man, and the Rams go within one. And then Lakeside coach Garrett Wackel says, go for two. Irmo Seo keeps, so, keeps it, he's got a man, but it comes up just short. And Malvern holds on to win this. We got a lot of close games last night. And this one, the Malvern Leopards win 35 to 34. All right, just an absolutely insane night of high school football all across Arkansas. I don't think I've ever seen that many close games, that many kickoff returns all in one night. We'll see if Saturday is just as much fun. The Hogs take on Kent State up in Fayetteville at 3 p.m. today. Catch that one on the SEC Network, and then catch Sarah and I back here tonight at 10.35 p.m. for Hog Zone. We'll give you all the highlights and post-game reaction from what we're hoping is a big hog win. We'll see you back here tonight. For now, though, I hope you guys are having a great morning.